YouTube, what's going on today, guys? It's your boy MPX, and I'm coming back to you guys with my first ever tier list video. In my last stream, we ended up deciding that Cartoon Network was the best, absolute best, compared to Nickelodeon and Disney Channel over all the other networks watching as a, as a kid. In this tier ranking list, we went over all the TV shows that we saw as a 90s baby. So there were a lot of TV shows that I wasn't really too fond of or I didn't really know about, but it's all right. You guys will see it. You guys are gonna love the tier list. And of course, if you guys wanna fight me, if you guys wanna debate me, please do it in the comment section down below. I would love to see where you guys would rate these shows on your tier list. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and roll right into the video, guys. And if you guys enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys, enjoy. So we're gonna start off right over here with Adventure Time. First off, I never watched Adventure Time, so I would say uh, I've never watched it, nor do I care for it. I mean, like I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't raised by that. I never watched that. I, I, I didn't watch that growing up, dude. I'm a, I'm a '90s kid. You know what I mean? So that isn't even, guys. The next one is We Bear Bears. I've never even seen this one before, honestly. I, I am I? Wait, wait, am I old? Am, am I not that old? I thought I was old. I've never seen this one. We Bear Bears? Has anyone seen this one? Has anyone seen it? I, I don't remember this. I don't remember this. I've never even heard of that. I, I This was a show on Cartoon Network? Moving on. All right, Ben 10. This is actually, this is actually good. This is actually good. All right, so Ben 10, I would rate it S tier. I would rate it S tier. I would absolutely rate it S tier. I think Ben 10 is absolutely one of the best 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 shows i've ever watched for sure hands down all right guys so here we go all right moving on moving on the grim adventures of billy and mandy i would rate this an a tier okay realistically realistically right guys i would rate this an a tier and i'll tell you the reason why i would rate it an a tier it's because i enjoyed watching it but i didn't love watching it you know what i mean it was it was decent it was decent like you know what i mean it was good and i wouldn't say wouldn't say it was terrible i just i would say i would say it's a, a tier right some people saying it's b tier i would say a majority of people are saying it's s tier that's surprising that is surprising to me wow you guys would rate it s tier really oh man i'm not gonna lie to you guys i think this is a solid a tier for sure all right chowder once again this is not i i never watched chowder growing up i never watched that this was like early 2000s i never watched that all right guys so w without this i'm just gonna go ahead and skip over this one chowder chowder is dog i'm not yeah I'm, I'm not even gonna get into this clarence once again guys i i don't know what this is i feel like this is for early 2000s so let's anytime i see any of these early 2000s I, i'm not even gonna acknowledge it cow and chicken cow and chicken this 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 show growing up you guys may disagree with me on this one, but this is S tier. This is S tier, without a doubt. This is S tier. Some of you guys are saying is B tier? No shot. No shot. No way. No shot. No shot. No shot. No way. No way. No way. This is this is definitely S tier. Cow and chicken. They don't get much better than that. All right. Dexter's Laboratory. Moving on. I truly believe. I truly believe that. Dexter's Laboratory. I'm gonna have to rate an S tier. I mean A tier. I'm gonna have to rate an A tier. I think it was a great show. I definitely believe it was a great show. I really enjoyed it. You guys are saying S tier? S S S S. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'll get. I'll give it to you guys. I'll give it to you. It is an incredible show. It is an incredible show. Yes. No. 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 It is. It is. It is. All right. All right. I'll give you guys that. I'll give you guys that. All right. No crying. No crying. No crying. All right. So next one, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. All right, this one, this one, this one. Okay, this one for sure, for sure, without a reasonable doubt in my mind, in my mind, is double S tier, double S. This show is so incredible that I, I, there's just no way, there's no way. I mean, Ed, Ed, and Eddie was one of the best shows i have ever seen in my life bro growing up i would literally i wanted a jawbreaker so bad i wanted a jawbreaker to sit my fucking gums and my my cheek looks like it's the size of mount rushmore that's what i wanted bro what the fuck is this what is this right here what is this can i zoom in on this hold on i need to zoom in on this what is that flapjack 
Flapjack? I never watched this growing up. I don't care about that. I don't care about Flapjack. What the hell is this? Guys, we're going to leave Flapjack here on, on, on Haven't Seen. That, that ain't it. That ain't it for sure. Okay, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Wow. <laughs> wow s double s tier double s tier double s tier no no doubt in my mind there's not even a doubt in my mind foster's home for imaginary friends was one of the shows that i truly fell in love with i mean do you guys remember cheese do you guys remember cheese right cheese does everybody remember cheese cheese was hilarious he was fucking hilarious oh my god every day after school bro i would literally go and watch foster's home for imaginary friends out i mean outstanding Coco, yeah, incredible. Blue, I mean, come on, dude. Come on, really? All right, The Amazing World of Gumball. Once again, guys, this is not our generation. We're gonna move on. That is dog shit. Johnny Bravo, okay. This may be an unpopular opinion, but someone's gonna have to say it. I'm gonna rate it B tier. I'm gonna rate it B tier. I'll tell you the reason why, man. Johnny Bravo, there was just no substance. There was just no substance. It was just the guy, you know, it was just the guy who just thought he was the man, you know? And like, you know, he got shat on every time by women. Women didn't like him. Boring, boring B tier. You know what? I would even go as low as C tier. I would even go as low as C tier. That's right. That guy would definitely get canceled today. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Next one. The next one. All right, the next one's gonna be Codename Kids Next Door. Let me tell you guys something. You guys may not agree with me on this, but Codename Kids Next Door is an absolute, absolute double S tier. Absolute double S tier to me. To me, personally, I think Codename Kids Next Door was one of the best shows. It was an absolute banger. Absolutely incredible. Some people are saying A tier or B tier, someone said S tier. In my opinion, in my opinion, it is a double S tier. It is a double S tier. All right, you guys, we're gonna move on. Um, Camp Laszlo, do you guys remember watching this show? I remember watching this show and I was, um, like, I remember watching this show, but I wasn't like, it wasn't, it didn't leave a mark. It didn't leave a mark. Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. I, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to give that a B tier. <laughs> I'm going to rate that a B tier. Honestly, I, I just, I, I just wasn't a fan growing up watching that show. Come on, dude. Like uh, it just wasn't even that good. It wasn't even that good. I, I personally wasn't a huge fan of this. I thought that it was going to be better personally. And it, it was a big letdown. It was a big letdown. I honestly thought it was all right. All right, guys, moving on. Okay, KO. I, I don't know what this is, nor do I care to find out what it was. I did not watch this show. Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls. What are you guys putting Powerpuff Girls in? I want to see what you guys are going to, what you guys would put Powerpuff Girls in. All right, so we see S, double S tier, A tier, S tier, S tier. What would you guys put Powerpuff Girls in? Everyone's saying double S tier for sure. Honestly, I'm going to say S tier. I'm going to say S tier unpopular i mean i think it was an incredible show i truly believe that powerpuff girls made that much of an impact in my life and like i told you i was ready i was ready to date butters whenever she got older i knew i remember remember that show where they showed them when they were like in teenager phase i was like damn these girls are smoking hot you know what i'm saying i said god damn these girls are smoking hot i'm i'm ready to date butters when i get older samurai jack samurai jack guys what, what where are we putting samurai jack at b tier wow wow holy moly okay so we got a couple b tiers someone said s tier somebody said a tier okay samurai was good listen i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and put this here whether you guys like it or not this is where i'm putting it i'm gonna put it in an a tier i'm gonna put it in an a tier and i'll tell you the reason why i feel like samurai jack was a really good show on toonami i personally wasn't an incredible fan of it but it was good i think a tier is a respectable tier placement and it's a well deserved it's well deserved guys steven universe and i never watched this nor do i care 
All right, Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go. Where are we putting Teen Titans Go? Listen, guys, I personally, personally, Teen Titans Go happened after we were kids, right? It was a spinoff, a spinoff after Teen Titans, okay? People are saying it's garbage, and let me tell you something. I agree. I think Teen Titans Go was the biggest fail, the absolute biggest fail I've ever seen. It was so awful. It was so awful. It was worse than Johnny Bravo. I said, why did you make this the way you did it? I, I honestly, honestly, bro, it was the worst Teen Titans thing I'd ever seen in my life. It was so, it was that bad. It was that bad. Every time I watched it, I said, this is, this is dog shit. It is garbage. And I turn off the TV immediately. It's that bad. Wouldn't even waste my time. All right, guys. Uncle Grandpa, I'm just going to go ahead and skip over this one because I didn't watch this. Lastly, we're going over Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans show. The original. I'm talking about you got Starfire, right? Who else do we have? We have Raven, Cyborg. What's the other two guys' name? What are the other two guys' name? Robin and Beast Boy. Beast Boy, that's right. Okay. Guys, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This, to me, is the number one. The number one right there it's the absolute number one let me tell you something this show was so godlike that i i just don't think i i don't freaking think that any other show compares to the show i'm just saying unpopular opinion but i think that teen titans the original teen titans is probably one of the best shows i've ever watched in my life and it, it, it is a disgrace that teen titans go made it to the bottom of the barrel the bottom of the barrel. I mean, this is dog shit. Oh man, God bless it, man. Uh, let me tell you guys something. I feel like this is gonna be the best tier list right over here. And if you guys wanna argue with me, please do so. Guys, thank you guys so much for sticking around. This is my first ever tier list ranking. I'm so happy that you guys were a part of it. Please let me know in the comment section down below where you guys would rate all these shows and what you guys think of my ranking system. All right, guys, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys, peace.